in the hour approaches. Two knights will join each other and the people will wake up from the first night to see that the night is not over yet. And they will be terrified and they will be scared and they will find that the sun did not come out. And another night came and then two nights will appear in a row and then after that the sun will appear again but this time it will come from the west instead of the east. Interesting. Well, let's make something clear here. The thing that really makes the poles current move so unusual is the speed that it's staying. In the last decade alone, Movement has increased by a third. It's been thrown off compass, compasses by roughly one degree every five years. Changes that fast have already caused major headaches for uh, the Federal Aviation Commission. Uh, I told you about the Florida airport that had to rename its, its uh, runways after the compass changed. The runway was no longer where it was supposed to be because the compass had changed. The shifting pole may also become a grave concern for migratory wildlife, such as birds, turtles, sea creatures, um, uh, everything that, that rules by by uh, the magnetic field. Now, let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, the homing pigeon. How does the homing pigeon know how to get back to, to his home? Um, have you heard stories about uh, people who would... Uh, lose their dog in California, and then they get back to Oregon, and three weeks later, the dog shows up at their door. How did that dog know how to travel three weeks and get right back to the door of his home? What about anything that migrates, any animal that migrates? Could this, I'm not saying it does, I'm saying could this possibly explain all of these massive deaths of of whales and dolphins and crabs and fish, uh, birds dropping out of the sky. You know, when the birds first started dropping out of the sky, they did autopsies on these birds that said that they died of blunt force trauma. However, there was no damage to their bodies, but their brains were scrambled. And it didn't make any sense when the story came out. A lot of people said the same thing, you know, what kind of what kind of bull are you trying to give us? Just tell us the truth. You know, nobody wanted to accept accept something so bizarre. How could a uh, a thousand birds drop out of the sky dead from blunt force trauma, not have any body body damage and their brains be scrambled? Well, again, there's a difference with physicists and scientists. Some say that migratory birds have a magnetic fluid that's in their brain and that they use this magnetic fluid to navigate the Earth's magnetic grid to find their way around. They say that that's the way that homing pigeons find their way back to their home. It's the way that whales and, and birds and fish and anything that migrates – um, has this and uses this magnetic grid. Well, when the magnetic grid starts to break down or change the way it changed in Florida to the point where they had to go change the runway, that these birds would be thrown off kilter completely. And it could be that some of them are so sensitive that um, it just it scrambles their brain. So why didn't this happen to all animals that migrate and all uh, birds and crabs and whales and dolphins and um, anything that migrates, anything that has this fluid in their head, why didn't it happen to cats and dogs? Um, it, there's a lot of uh, legitimate questions there. Well, according to what we've talked about here so far, is that if we have holes in our mag magnetic field and this this energy that's coming up out of the earth is coming up in spots, it doesn't come up everywhere, it comes up through the path of least resistance, that the places where this would happen would be where this energy is being released. And it throws their their brain into a state of flux uh, that it actually just can't handle it. And these birds, uh, fish, dolphins, whales, they drop dead. 
because their little pea brains just can't handle it. Well, that would make sense that it didn't happen to all. It only happens where this energy um, has weakened the field or where the field is, the magnetic field is already weakened. Now, I really thought this was a, a, a very interesting idea because it actually made sense. My first question was, why didn't all migratory animals drop dead? Well, it's because there are holes in our magnetic field and it's um, uh, energy that's being um, um, released through the Earth's crust, through the cracks in the tectonic plates, through um, volcanoes, and any place where, there, where there's an opening, the path of least resistance, just like water takes, this would take the same, the same directions. Now, depending on how how intense um, the combination of these things was, I guess would determine why these fish. I, I, you know, there's still a lot of unanswered questions about this, and of course, I, I'm not a geologist, a scientist, or a physicist, so I don't have all the answers. But what I did do was research what all of them are saying, and I kind of get a general consensus of of the idea behind the whole thing. Because there's different views on this. There's there's people who say the, um, a lot of different things. But they, they're all based on the same thing, and that's that this magnetic pole is starting to shift. It's starting to change. And I, I think this is really important that, that we understand that this may have the effect, this may very well explain um, all of these animal deaths. Dropping out of the sky, um, hundreds of whales washing up on shores. Um, the, this this may very well be the explanation for that. All right, we're at the top of the hour. Um, I'm going to take a short break. When I come back, we're going to get into the part that I have been waiting for: is these Earth noises. I've got 15 clips of these noises. Uh, strange, strange, strange noises, and I've got some interviews. Um, and some um, news clips from uh, local news stations that are reporting um, just how mysterious all of these things are. Uh, uh, this, you know, this is my favorite part of the research for this thing. Um, we're going to explore those when we come right back. Don't go away. You're listening to W. Dean Shook in time prophecy news and current events. Stay tuned. Now hear our program on Stitcher Smart Radio. Stitcher allows you to listen to your favorite shows directly from your iPhone, Android phone, Kindle Fire, and more. It's on demand and on the go. Don't have Stitcher? Download it free today at Stitcher.com or in the App Store. Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. identity thieves constantly search your information for vulnerabilities. At LifeLock, relentless protection of your identity is their primary mission. They help ensure that you stay ahead of identity thieves. LifeLock is first in the industry to offer proactive identity theft protection. They're level one compliant under the payment card industry data security standards. They have direct access to fraud resolution teams within their extensive network of lenders and service providers. They are experts through leadership with internationally recognized experts in privacy and security, technologies, fraud, and criminal methods. They also partnership with FBI law enforcement and the National Organization for Victims Assistance. Sign up today at WDShook.com and receive a 30-day free trial and 10% off your final purchase. The W. Dean Shook program has partnered with LifeLock to make sure your identity remains safe and secure, guaranteed. 
Get your 30-day free trial of LifeLock's industry-leading protection at WDeanShook.com. That's WDeanShook.com. GoDaddy offers everything you need to make a name for yourself on the web, from domain names and website builders to complete e-commerce solutions. We've earned our place as the world's number one accredited domain registrar by delivering world-class products at competitive prices and support them with industry-best services delivered 24-7, 365. We're proud to serve our customers from locations around the world. Sign up now at WDeanStrip.com and get your domain name as low as $5.99 a year. Sign up now at WDeanShook.com. Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. Don't worry about your food supply when a disaster hits. At Buy Emergency Food, their focus is to provide families and individuals with the highest quality food storage available along with the most effective survival gear online. Hi, I'm W. Dean Shook, and our friends at Buy Emergency Food is so confident that their prices can't be beat. They'll match any competitor's online prices of any product they offer. They've searched far and wide to find the most superior quality products available. Buy Emergency Food is 100% committed to providing these high quality items at the best prices online. Sign up today at WDeanShook.com for their gourmet taste, easy storage, 25 year shelf life, nutritional information, water filtration, and a portable solar power. Come see why Buy Emergency Food is simply the best brands for providing the basic needs with disaster strikes. And they have free shipping on every order. Nothing's easier than their free shipping policy. That's right, 100% free shipping. Your emergency food is usually shipped within three business days. It's fast, effective, and free. Does it get any better than that? The food you need when disaster hits. Sign up today at WDeanShook.com. That's WDeanShook.com. All right, thank you for that. I appreciate it so much. And you can always come to the webpage. That's WDeanShook.com. Visit our sponsors. They would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. You would keep this program on the air. And you can always email me at contact at WDeanShook.com. That's email contact at WDeanShook.com. All right. We're going to dig into these noises. These are uh, recorded noises from around the world. And I want to give some sort of a setup before we start this. I want to, I want to give you a little bit of a setup. I want to play an interview or two about um, – um, news agencies who are reporting these noises, um, that it's something that's, that's real. This is not made up. It's not edited. Um, these are real um, amateur recordings of just regular people, you and I, type people who are, who are recording these noises. And some of these things, I'm telling you, they sound so bizarre. Well, there's a possible cause for these sounds. Uh, these sounds, like I said before, are probably from the Earth's core. This is where uh, we have this extra heat, this extra energy. It's got to be released. Um, otherwise, it would just build up in there. It automatically drifts toward this path of least resistance. So here's the deal. During this process of the inner and outer core being a little bit out of sync with a combination of our um, geomagnetic field being um, tweaked, has some holes in it. It's already re reported through some um, ge geophysical stations that record three-dimensional variations of the Earth's gravitational field, almost simultaneously registered a powerful gravitational impulse. Now, these stations are deployed in Istanbul, Kiev, um, 
Beku, Islamabad, with the first and last of these um, all-